The question is no longer whether machines can think, but whether humans still remember how. Wisdom became extinct. Today's paradox is brutal. We have more data than ever and less clarity than our grandparents had with a newspaper and a conscience. While 89% of global executives use AI to inform decisions, only 27% trust those decisions without human interpretation. It's a wisdom deficit. And it's widening with every algorithm we deploy. It's the difference between optimization and wisdom, between efficiency and humanity. Here's the question that should keep every leader awake. Are we training the next generation in computational intelligence while starving them of moral intelligence? MBA programs still prioritize optimization over ethics, efficiency over empathy, and quarterly returns over generational responsibility. We're graduating brilliant tacticians who've never been forced to grapple with a genuine moral dilemma. When AI writes the code, diagnoses the patient and drafts the contract, what remains uniquely human is the willingness to ask, should we? A neural network can detect a tumor with 99% accuracy. It cannot hold the hand of the person receiving the news. The model maximized profit margins brilliantly until journalists discovered it had deprioritized hospitals in low-income districts. The algorithm did exactly what we told it to, one executive admitted, not what we meant. This wasn't a technical failure. We're so focused on speed and efficiency that we've stopped asking whether we're moving in the right direction. What story will this decision tell about who we are? It's the insurance policy that keeps efficiency from becoming cruelty. What's the ROI of saying no when the data says yes? That's a question more leaders need to ask. This is our most dangerous delusion. Bias isn't the bug. It's the blueprint. When Amazon's warehouse algorithm began penalizing bathroom breaks, it wasn't malfunctioning. It was executing a value baked into its objective function, throughput above humanity. If your AI system is racist, sexist, or classist, what does that say about your leadership? It's an uncomfortable question, but it's the right one. Consider the alternative, a world where every major institution is run by people trained exclusively in optimization, never in contemplation. We'd have brilliant tacticians with no conception of the why beneath the how. We'd build systems that maximize efficiency while eroding meaning. Philosophy is no longer impractical, it's strategic. The humanities are returning to power because what once seemed soft now feels necessary. 